Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix when backup is not working in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart your Windows PC. For this, save your any ongoing work, click on the start icon. Select the power icon and just simply choose restart from there. Number 2. Try some basic steps like checking your storage space or check for software conflicts or reduce your backup size. Alternatively, you can also check your drive connection or your driver compatibility. Number 3. Restart your Windows backup service. For this, press Windows plus R key to open a run dialog box. From there, type services.msc and press enter to open the services window. After that, scroll down and find the Windows Backup Service option. Right click on it and select Restart. If the service is not running, click Start first and then Restart. Number 4. Change RPC to Automatic. For this, press Windows plus R key to again open the run dialog box. Again type services.msc and press enter to open the services window. Scroll down and this time find the remote procedure call. Again right click on it and select properties. Make sure the startup type option is set to automatic. If it's not, click it to make the necessary modifications. Then click the apply button to save the changes. And number 5. Run chk dsk scan. For this, open start, search for command prompt. Right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. After that, type chkdsk slash f c and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not your system drive. After that, press y when prompted to schedule the disk check on the next restart. Then just simply restart your PC. The disk will automatically run the startup and check for any issues with the disk. If any issues are found, they will be automatically fixed. Number 6. Run your system file checker. For this, again search for command prompt. Right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Type the following command to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now. Then be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. And after that, check for the issues resolved or not. And number 7. Run DISM command. For this, open start. Again, search for command prompt. Right click the top result and again select the run as administrator option. Type the following command to perform a quick fix on your PC. Don't worry, we'll attach all the commands in the description box. After that, the DISM commands are used for scanning your PC and automatically installing broken or missing window files on your PC. Number 8. Update your outdated driver from settings. For this, navigate to the settings menu. From there, select window updates. After that, go to advanced settings. Click on optional updates option from there. Then select the driver update if one is available. Then select download and install from the drop down menu. Number 9. Delete the window image backup folder. For this, launch file explorer by pressing the windows key plus E. Then, go to the destination of the backup image storage. Find and delete the window image backup folder. Number 10. You can also enable sync on your windows backup. For this, press the windows key plus i to open the settings. After that, go to accounts and pick window backup from the menu. Then, click on the manage sync settings option. Number 11. Uninstall recent system updates. For this, go to windows settings. Click Window Update from the left hand side menu. Then go to the Update History and select Uninstall Updates from there. So, this was it for the video, guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.